Well, Group B has been blown wide open, mm. smashed apart like Michael Least belting the ball somewhere around the ground without landing on, on a hut somewhere because that's what happened today. Scotland getting there in the end in a chase that started off looking dicey. A little bit dicey. Mm. I, thought, I thought they were a little bit behind the game at the halfway mark of the second innings on a wicket that looked like it was just continuing to deteriorate and it was going to get harder. But like you said, Michael Least, what a knock. Combine that with the Captain Barrington. That was a brilliant partnership. It was a partnership that showed both their strong points yep. because Michael Lee's in the V. He only knows one way yep. when he backs to the walls, punch his yep. way out. Richie Barrington, so strong, a uh, square of the wicket yep. either way. Uh, but, uh, the way that Richie Barrington in particular, I think, while Michael Lee's uh, came in with that firepower, Richie Barrington had to kind of guide them through that yeah. period, didn't he? Yeah, and it's important that you've got a lot of experience there in a run chase like that. And um, I thought when Cross got out that it looked as though, like we talked about it before we started filming, that um, Lee hasn't been at his absolute best. So it looked like there was a real opportunity for Namibia there. Um, but Barrington showed his experience, showed his class, and like you said, guided Namibia, sorry, guided Scotland uh, in the run chase and then let least do his thing if he had got out there then i'm sure barrington would have changed his game plan but uh beautiful tactics well executed what about namibia because they're in the yep. top they've had the the win they've had the loss now it's it's there's still possibilities yeah absolutely for them as well yep. i believe that this is the first time by the way that scotland has beaten first namibia in four attempts yep in a t20 international so props for that uh, they were led by their captain very much with the bat yep. in their heart Erasmus. What did you make of the way that they approached the game? Oh, I thought that they approached it really well. You could see the passion. Losing or going three down early in the power play always hurts because you just keep having to hold back and hold back and hold back. And you, you feel like you have to continue to just wait to have that kick towards the back end. You can't afford to take too many risks. But Erasmus, he played a really nice knock. Uh, he was well supported right throughout as well. So. I thought that they had enough on the board um, should they execute very well with the ball. Oh, speaking of the start that they had, a, a nod or a word about Scotland's bowlers because uh, with mm. that new ball, yep. um, there was there was swing, there was soul, but soul wasn't swinging, but there was swing and there was soul. Yeah, Brad Will, he, he set the tone early. He was very consistent, uh, hit a good area, moved the ball as well. And, and that's so crucial in T20 cricket. And, and you think back, Josh Hazelwood always comes to mind when I think of a guy who has evolved with the game, um, but doing the basics so well. And, and that's what it's about. You, you can get caught up in trying too many different things, but yeah, he was excellent. He set the tone and, and that was really important. Now, I know we're not looking ahead to Scotland and, and Australia, but if Scotland beat Oman, yeah. and then they've got that match against Australia in St. Lucia, are they a team that could cause Australia some problems down the line? Well, they can beat anyone. They've, they've got a really quality squad. And it's not just, I think in, in times gone past, you look at associate nations and you think there's two, three, four players that can be match winners. But look at this Scotland side and they've got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 match winners. And when they get it right, they're so, so difficult. And their fielding was unbelievable today. And they fight and they scrap and they stay in the contest. So yeah, absolutely. That'll, that'll be a huge game for both teams again. Mm, well, before that, uh, they've both got some other issues to address and other teams to play. But it was a, certainly a night. It was nice standing up here, hearing the Proclaimers 500 miles belting out because mm. uh, there are a lot of Scottish fans here and they have a lot of support. So a, a huge win for Scotland and uh, this this group man this group i said it, i said it when we were talking about australia and england but keep watching out for that net run rate absolutely it's going to be important it always comes down to it at some point